So this is Weebly, and you can make a website and blog on here for free. So you just want to go to Weebly.com. You don't need this palm sign. I don't know why that's there, but go to Weebly.com, and you're going to want to sign up like this because you don't have an account. So it'll ask you a few more things. And I can't remember if it asks you right away. It might ask you what you want your website to be called. I'm just going to log in because I already have one. A few of them, actually. The first page that you come to just tells you stats. So, like, I've had this many unique visitors this week. I've had this many page views this week. But I want to edit my site, so I'm going to click right here to edit the site. And then yours is going to look a little bit different because you don't have any content in here yet. Mine, I have, so these are my different pages. So right now I'm on Build. And it's showing me I have Home, About the Artist, Portfolio, my blog, my calendar of events. You don't, you don't need this many pages. I just have this many pages. At first, I mean, you can always add to it later, but at first maybe just start with home and your blog and maybe a contact page if you want. My contact page has, um, right here, this is how you do it with the contact form. I drug that over here so I could do another one, drag it over and drop it, and then it'll ask you, what information you want from the person. Now, so I'm on build right now, and it gives me all these options. So I can say, you know what, I want another image over here. So I grab image, drag it, the blue bar shows me where it's gonna go. So I want it over here on the left, so then I can let go. And then I can click to upload an image from my computer. I don't actually want this, so I'm gonna hover over it, hit the red X and get rid of it. So I can do that with anything. I can say, you know what, I want another title above my name here. So I can drag that over, then I click. <laughs> Spelled that wrong. But I don't really want this here, so I'm going to hover over it, delete it. Most of these things at the top here are free. Um, if you get down here ways, I think you can do some of these. Like, I know I can do YouTube video, but some of these, they charge you. It's not with the free account, but you'll find that out. To add or get rid of pages, I go to Pages. So if I want to get rid of my About the Artist page or edit it in any way, I can click on it. I can change things, or I can delete it. If I want a new page, I click on Plus. And then do I want a standard page or a blog page? I've never used these two. I've just done standard and blog. Um, let's get rid of that. So when I'm on pages, I can add new pages or delete old pages. Then I go back to build and actually work on the different pages. Oops. I'm going too fast. I made it mad. Okay, we'll try this again. <laughs> so I can go to any of these pages and edit them. I could add a gallery of pictures here. I could add some more text. The only page that's different is the blog page. So the blog page, I don't just drag stuff over. I edited this over here and told a little bit about me. But for the blog page, you have all these different posts. So here is my post I did in March. Here's my post I did last August. Here's my post that I did also last August, and it just goes down, it scrolls down forever, all the way back to when I started. So, on the blog page, when I want to do a new post, I have to click down here on new post. Can you tell 
Then I start working on it. So I title it. Then I can drag over. All right, I want text in here. It's not usually this slow. I want an image in here. So I can click here and type out whatever I want to say about hunting with Luke. I can click here and add the image from my computer. When I'm done, then I save it and post it. I'm going to actually delete it because I didn't do anything. And then it would show up here at the top. Now, I kind of have a theme going on. I just like mine black, but if you go here to themes, you can change the theme. And there's different themes to choose from. Most of them are free. Uh, it'll tell you if it's one that you have to pay for. But so, there's things that you can change about the themes, but it'll kind of set up the majority of your page this way. So if you like this like old rustic wood, uh, you could choose this theme. You can preview. Let's preview my site as this theme, see what it does. Okay, it's taking a long time. My computer's being slow, so I'm just going to cancel. But it usually gives you a preview. And then, of course, you can change all this text and stuff. You don't have to leave this. After you've chosen a theme, then you can go back. Yeah, I'll close it. There we go. I've never done anything with store or settings. I've just done theme, pages, and build. Just know this, though. When you're done making all your adjustments, you have to click Publish. If you don't click Publish, it won't change anything. Then, I'm trying to remember the easiest way to get to my site. This little W takes you back to your page with your stats and stuff. Because some people run more than one website, too, so they have to click back and forth. My internet's acting up just because I want to show you this. I'll just show you it a different way. Back on that main page, you yours will probably say .weebly.com if you don't pay. I'm paying for this Wisty Woodworks domain. Well, I think we're just going to end it there because my internet doesn't work. But uh, go ahead and sign up if you want to do it. And if you're working on it and you're having problems, just send me a message or give me a call and I would be glad to help you. I do this with my students all the time. And I don't mind helping at all. I actually have four websites for like the Lake Association, my chainsaw carving, um... I have an art teacher site. So here's what my website actually looks like when I'm not in the editor. So it's a little bit more clean. Oh, I was going to show you too. I should show you later how to link a YouTube video. This links to a video that I have in YouTube. I was excited that late this summer I got an order for an angel. So I have a YouTube page where I upload all my videos and store them and then I just link them to my website. And then I just sell them to the So you could do that too. I'll show you how to do that later.